Hi everyone, welcome back to part four on the 2021 ND Miata. Today we're gonna do seats and the driver airbag and some other things. I don't really know, we're just gonna do it. Let's do it, do it. Yeah. I've got the repaired SRS module repaired seat belt. And I also have a driver airbag. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here again. Uh, it's just in there, tossed in there right now and we'll get everything where it's supposed to be. Ta-da! All right, so, leather seat. These don't come in a club. Decided to grab them uh, as I found this set for about a grand. And if you remember, my old seats have this problem. At least the driver one does. And I was looking into buying a new cover or getting this restitched. Restitching it seemed kind of sketchy based on people online. They were like, no, you need the right thread. You need whatever. We didn't do that. We're just replacing it. The foam's torn. I don't know. I can sell this off. I can get that in. I can be done. I got the wrong airbag. New airbag, the correct one, is expensive. We have new seats. There's, there's two of them. There's one there. Can't believe this project's been a year. Over a year. I got it early November. 2021, the year the car was made. Now, it's over a full year old, and uh, not quite at the end. Oh, I did bolt this one in. Of course, because I thought it was done. Pretty sure I've said it before, but uh, these seats are kind of weird. They take this E12 Torx type thing, reverse Torx, I don't know. It's a star pattern sock. All right, in we go. Seat belt. Cool. Get this seated right. Oh. Just plug it in. It's one thing I did do is make sure that these connectors matched before I bought the seats. These are pretty clean looking. Got like a little plastic wear there. A little behind the seat belt, but you know, get the upgrade. Still heated, 
they're still bows. They're just leather now, which, you know, not always my first choice in Arizona, but with the black and the white stitching, they fit in this car really well. Match the doors, pad, just completes it. A little higher end. Not that that's what a Miata is, but. Doesn't mean you can't have a few nice things. There we are. Looking good. I think these seats have uh, 12K miles on them. Honestly, I think they might be from the same car that all the body parts are. The hood, fender, and bumper. Uh, that was a 12K mile Grand Touring. So, very likely, same car. Both uh, Redline Auto Parts. Not sponsored or anything, just happened to like them so far. They're giving me good stuff. Seems like a fair price. And, I mean, like, that's that's complete. I got, I got markers, I got a grill. I got that upper plastic piece. I got, I got all this stuff with it. You know, that saves me like 150, 40, 40, 60, you know, it, it all adds up. Right now that I've given you a chair, I'm gonna go ahead and put you in it. All right, we've got the driver's seat in, our connectors, and our clock spring has mysteriously repaired itself. And got the new airbag. Remember kids, I don't know anything. I'm just a guy, so don't do this. I mean, definitely don't do it that way because you probably need to pull these black things out first. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna put this in. We'll have a full interior. It'll be complete. The two things are connected and you can see the ground, I'm pretty sure that is, is connected right there. And honk honk. Uh, yep, that's it. It's done, it's done, it's good. Still got drunk in here, but it's done. It's dirty too. Cool, interior complete. Uh, let's move on to something else. Okay, this is the old rack that came out of the car. It's pretty messed up. Uh, you can see big separation there and had to cut this off because with everything moving around, I wasn't able to disconnect it like we were on this end. So uh, the reason I'm doing this, I have a new rack, it would work, but it's off of the earlier model of ND, the ND1, and supposedly they changed the power steering rack so that it had a different uh, ratio or something like that. The feel of it was different. It's electric power steering. The NDs are the first Miatas to have electric power steering and overall people seem to prefer the feel of the newer version on the ND2. So I'm going to harvest the motor off of this rack and attach it to my replacement ND1 rack in hopes that that gives us the same exact results. Got the motor and pinion off. I think that whole assembly right there should go into our new rack pretty easily. Close up, you can see the part number there. XJ12XYG1-0, and this is XF12XYG1-03. So there's the difference in the way these are labeled. Um, physically, from the outside, they look exactly the same. Unfortunately, our new rack uh, isn't all that new. I think it's off of a 2016, so one of the first racks uh, from the Northeast. So get a little bit of that corrosion versus our shiny, shiny stuff.
All right, now that I've got the rack rebuilt, that's all I'm gonna do in this one. We got the interior done, all the airbags, and the rack is ready to go into the car. And then we can move on to our knuckles and arms and everything else on that area. And we can begin to button this up. The goal for the next episode will be to get the car on the ground. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you next month. Bye.